Now another big story out of Jones County, a 19 year old woman was arrested and charged with committing a sexual act with an animal. The Jones County Sheriff's Department arrested Denise Frazier in the Myrick community on a charge of unnatural intercourse and a charge of aggravated cruelty of an animal. According to the Sheriff's Department, they received a complaint from a concerned resident regarding a graphic video posted to a social media depicting the act between the woman and a dog. Lead investigator Sergeant J.D. Carter said, quote, in my 17 years in law enforcement, this is one of the most disturbing cases that I've ever investigated. JCSD is in possession of several videos that are so graphic that we are not at liberty to release them or even discuss the particular content. The investigation into this case is far from over, end quote. Frazier currently is jailed in the Jones County Adult Detention Facility pending her initial appearance and Jones County Justice Court at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon will work to have an update from her hearing tomorrow. Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shai, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash. As always, double honor to our apostles, our elders at Great Millstone, the taught us his truth and who are ruling well. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom, peace and love to you, Akim, that are prophets and teachers who are hazarding your lives daily to magnify and praise the true names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and to push this true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. All right, to help edify the elect. Shalom, peace and love to you, believers that are out there, you Akim, you few Akwatim and children. All right, this is it. You know, we're at the end. All right, and you're seeing uh, uh, the signs manifest itself. All right, in this place, all right, is long overdue for destruction. All right, this place needs to be destroyed after the manner of Sodom and Gomorrah, which was set up to be an example. All right, so that basically kingdoms that came afterwards would not live ungodly after the manner, all right, of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, but we have this place which is known as America, all right, which is sp spreading the, the tentacles of its wickedness all right, throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, and, and causing nations to drink of the wine of the wrath of its fornication. All right, according to what it says in the scriptures, all right, in biblical prophecy all right, concerning Babylon, all right, Babylon the Great, all right, or the, or the whore, all right, is America. This place is spiritually known as Babylon. But it's spiritually known as Sodom as well. When you go into the book of 2 Peter 2 and 6, it says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that afterwards should live ungodly. All right, if you read it plainly within the NLT, it says later, Yahweh condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and turned them into heaps of ashes. He made them an example of what will happen to ungodly people. All right, so what's going to happen to this place? All right, it's going to be destroyed just as Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, as well as the neighboring cities thereof. All right, the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, and going down to the 19th verse. All right, it says, In Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms and the beauty of the childy excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, we understand this concerning ancient Babylon, all right, the Babylon that was ruled over by uh, Nebuchadnezzar, all right, it was never destroyed, all right, by way of destruction like Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, we understand that the Persians and the Medes, all right, uh, beginning with King Cyrus, went in and took over the kingdom, all right, and you can read about that all right, within biblical prophecy. All right, many, many TKL of Farsan within the book of Daniel. All right, so they just took it over. There was no great destruction after the manner of Sodom in Egypt. I'm sorry, after the manner of Sodom and Gomorrah. But ultimately, this future Babylon is going to be destroyed. And here's reasons why. All right, you have a 19 year old. Mississippi woman who filmed herself having sex with a male dog. And this is from April 6, 2023, 
coming from the New York Post. All right, this is the year of Yahweh Bashmi uh all of the hopeful prophecies of Yahweh Bashmi Abishai coming to pass. Now, to read the article, it says a woman has been arrested after allegedly having sex with a dog and posting extremely graphic videos of the abuse on social media. So, why are you saying allegedly? All right, if there's videos which are evidence of her actually doing it. That, that doesn't make sense. All right, the wording is doesn't make sense. Denise Frazier, 19, is charged with unnatural intercourse and aggravated cruelty to an animal, WDAAM7 reported. Police in Mississippi say they were alerted to vi a video involving a woman and a male dog by a concerned resident who spotted it on social media. In my 17 years of in law enforcement, this is one of the most disturbing cases that I've ever investigated, Sar uh, said Sergeant J.D. Carter of Jones County Sheriff Department. All right. So, as you can see, you know, this is the picture of the woman. You're going to see videos and stuff too. All right. She's charged. You know, here's a picture of her being shackled. All right, by the uh, um, the police or whatever. She's in her her jail attire. All right, and you'll be surprised how common this is. All right, when women go to gynecologists, all right, when they go to get their their uh, Pap smears or whatever you call it, when they get checked up. You know, and they have to swab, you know, their insides, you know, their DNA, you know, basically is mixed with dog DNA. And this happens a lot. All right. Now, however, in particular states, you know, there's no penalty to the point of them being locked up. But yet them being locked up and the dog being taken to a vet. All right. Or, or to a, a, a animal shelter or whatever. That's the wrong judgment. All right. According to the scriptures, what is the right judgment to enact within this particular case? All right. Because that dog is defiled now. All right. That woman is defiled. All right. And clearly a law of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has been broken. So according to the scriptures, what is supposed to happen? What is the right judgment? The book of Habakkuk 1 and 4 Therefore, the law of slack and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. So you would say, okay, well, the woman was jailed, you know, and the dog was, was taken and removed out of the home and all of the rest of her pets. But that's still the wrong judgment. All right, what's supposed to happen according to the scriptures, the book of Leviticus 20 and 16. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there, there too. Thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So when you go into the word lie or lie down, the word there is shaka, which means to lie sexually. That's the correct judgment according to the scriptures. But yet they'll lock this woman up. Why? Because her being locked up, they can make money off of her uh, 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 in the private prisons. All right. The dog. You know, it's supposed to be destroyed because that dog is defiled now. Now that dog is confused, all right, and, and, and thinks that it's okay to, to do that with humans. All right, that woman is defiled now. All right, but yet this is the place of confusion. So the correct judgment never goes forth. All right, according to the laws and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Shai, the woman and the dog is supposed to be put out of their misery. All right, but these things are acceptable and they're pushing the agenda of, of everything being acceptable that is sexually immoral. All right, that's considered sexual immorality. The book of 1 Corinthians, the sixth chapter in the 18th verse, a reading from the NLT, run from sexual sin. No, no other sin is clearly, of, of, uh, no other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does for sexual immorality is a sin against your own body so what is sexual immorality 
Well, uh, being a G, all right, to the A, to the Y, being an L, being a, a, a D I K E, being a Mo, bestiology, a, 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 a adultery, all of those things are classified under sexual immorality. All right, let's look it up. Sexual immorality is the selling off of sexual purity and involves any type of sexual expression outside the boundaries of biblical defined marriage relationships. And this is the reason why all of these people that are into these strange acts, what's the number one thing that they attack? What's the number one book that they attack? What's the number one source of information that goes against their wicked acts that they attack every single time. It's the scriptures because the scriptures bring order and they're completely out of order. According to the scriptures, they're supposed to be put to death for these acts. And the time is going to come when the heavenly father cleans the earth of all of this wickedness via the chariots and thermonuclear destruction. The book of Jude 1 and 7, this also from the NLT and don't forget Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't forget about Sodom and Gomorrah. All of that wicked ass shit that they were doing there. All right, men with men, women with women. All right, the pedo things that were going on there, the bestiology, the orgies. The same thing is going on here. So look, don't forget about them. And their neighboring towns, which were filled with immorality. In every kind of sexual perversion, every single kind that you can think of. But this place is more wicked than that one. You want to know why? Because they weren't pulling in Missy Elliott, you know, the, the, the flip it and reverse it. You know, you got men that slicing and, 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 and dicing themselves up. All right. And adding in silicones and, and injections. All right. Putting on uh, wigs, taking uh, uh, hormone blockers, women you know, uh, uh, receiving, you know, uh, uh, testosterone shots and growing beards and chest hair. All right. And, 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 you know, buying particular instruments to put inside of their pants so they could look like they got a bulge. All right. And laying down with each other. All of these things are being recorded in the heavenly father, just as he did with Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, he's, he's looking down upon this place to see, you know, all of this filth. All of this wicked ass shit that's going on down here. And what he's going to do, he's going to have this bitch destroyed. He's going to destroy it via the chariots and via thermonuclear destruction. What does it say in the book of Genesis? It says that the heavenly father came down to see if the cry was 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 real. You know, if the, all of the shit, you know, was was actually going on, even though he, he knows, you know, he's, he, he can see everything, man. The scriptures say in the book of Genesis. Genesis, the 19th chapter. And let me see. Let me go to it. I want to go to Genesis, the 18th chapter. So this is Genesis 18 and 20. And Yahweh said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great. And because their sin is very grievous. All right. When you go into the word for grievous within the Hebrew Genesis uh, 18 and 20. The word there in the Hebrew is. H 3513, which is Kabod, and it says to be heavy, to be weighty, to be grievous. All right, to be uh, uh, insensible, to be abundant. All right, to make oneself numerous. And that's what's happening here within this place. All right, the, the, uh, the sins of this place is numerous in so much that it has amounted unto heaven. 
All right, you got the, the hypocrites, all right, of this particular government, all right, jumping on the case of Uganda for saying that they're going to penalize all right, uh, um, uh, uh, this particular perversions, all right, with the death penalty for anyone that tries to bring that shit there. But then you have a, a America, you know, that is that is a, a, a promoting, you know, that particular wickedness. All right. They're promoting it. Reading on, it says, I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of it, which is come unto me. And if not, I will know. All right. See, the heavenly father knows everything. <laughs> All right. All right. In which he sent down the angels. All right. But the scriptures say that the eyes of the Lord behold all things. So you had Abraham that prayed for Sodom, but not, you know, because they were wicked. Ab Abraham was righteous. All right. He was faithful. So him being righteous, he knows that it's a righteous thing for Sodom and, and, and Gomorrah to be destroyed. However, his nephew Lot was there. So he didn't want it to be destroyed for Lot's sake. However, the Heavenly Father made it to where Lot was able to escape the destruction. The same thing which will happen to the elect and the righteous during this time. So going back to the book of Jude 1 and 7. And don't forget Sodom and Gomorrah in their neighboring towns, which were filled with immorality and every kind of pervert sexual perversion. Those cities were destroyed by fire and served as a warning of the eternal fire of Yahweh's judgment. So the same thing is going to happen all right, to this place, which will eventually be destroyed. All right, remember what it says in the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter, verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen and is fallen and has become the habitation of devils. In a hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornications. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins. And that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven. And Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. All right. What does it say? It says that the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah was grievous. All right. Abundant. All right. It was great. All right. Such in, is, is the case of this place, which is America. So the sins have reached into heaven and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. So what, what's getting ready to happen is this place is getting ready to be destroyed after the manner of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, these particular judgments that do go forth, they're not correct according to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And a lot of the things are not penalized. You give it a minute, and, and, and pedo, the pedo life will be acceptable in this place. Bestiology will be acceptable. You know, all of this wickedness is acceptable. They're even teaching it all to children. So, what's going to happen? All right, the Heavenly Father is going to judge this place, man. All right, he's going to judge it with the chariots and with thermonuclear destruction. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles, our elders at Great Millstone. Peace, love, say, taste, and mercy be unto the whole elect. Shalom, Abad, Babal. Kwan Shalom.